Welcome back everybody. Welcome back to Maximus IV. And what I have to introduce to you guys today is Mountain Dew Purple Thunder. This soda has recently been released in this year of 2022. If I remember correctly, I think it was just a couple weeks back, two or three weeks ago, Mr. Badlands Chug's Eric Booker found out about it and did a chug on it. So now I'm going to do a review and a taste test on it myself. Now, this Mountain Dew in particular, it's brand new. And it is considered rare and exotic, even though it is available right now in parts of the United States. And the reason for that is because it's somewhat hard to find. You can't just go out to any grocery store and find it anywhere. Even Eric Booker himself, when this stuff first came out, he had to do some research and he found out where it was at. He called those people directly and asked them to send him a five pack of them so he could do a chug for his channel. So you have to know where it's at. I have looked and called in my hometown, Grants Pass, Oregon, Circle K, Walmart, I think two other Circle Ks too, none of them had it. So my trusty source, which is eBay, I bought this from a gentleman, three of them for, I think, a certain amount of dollars. Um, but the nice thing about it is, is it was very convenient for me to find it and now I can do a review for you guys on it. And the cool thing about it too is I get to support a small business owner on eBay. So that makes it worth it. Mountain Dew has been on a ridiculous kick for the past three or four years that I know of. There is just a massive amount of flavors that have come out, such as Mountain Dew Ice, Mountain Dew Legend, which is very rare. Um, Mountain Dew Code Red. Mountain Dew Maui. Maui Blast, I think is what it is. Mountain Dew Whiteout. Mountain Dew Voltage. Mountain Dew Flamin' Hot, which is a rare one that was only released for a limited time, as well as Mountain Dew Cake Smash. And a recent new one that's rare and exotic that has just come out is Mountain Dew Typhoon. And I think that came out a little while ago, one or two years ago, once before. And I'm waiting for the Mountain Dew Typhoon as well. The list, it just absolutely goes on and on and on. There are so many stinking flavors of Mountain Dew that has come out. Lots of them are rare and exotic. A lot of them are going to be trying to stay on the shelves and a lot of them are making it. There was another Mountain Dew that did come out years ago, one or two years ago, it was Mountain Dew Ice, I believe. And I don't know if that is still out on the shelves right now, but it was during the time in 2018 when Pepsi made a limited time release with Crystal Pepsi. There were other sodas that made a release during that time, like Pepsi Mango, which is a permanent flavor that's on the shelves even still to this day. I do not think that Mountain Dew Ice is still out on the shelves right now, but it was one of those sodas that came out in the times when Crystal Pepsi came out in 2018 for a limited time release. So to go on with this, the point is, is that Mountain Dew is going absolutely berserk and swinging for the fences with new flavors that constantly keep coming out. So with that said, let's just get into this and see how this one tastes. I think that on the research that I just recently did, it said that this has a berry plum flavor. I will read it though. Yes. So it says, with a blast of berry plum, 
natural and artificial flavor. It's got 270 calories in this bottle, which is a 20 ounce, I believe. Yep, that's a 20 ounce. Let's see how this tastes. Wow, sure smells good. Um, assuming that it probably has red number 40 in it, if you are allergic to it and want to get a headache, please buy the soda because it'll do just that. Let's look at the ingredients. Yep, red number 40 and blue number one. Two ingredients that both my brother and I are allergic to. We do get headaches from red number 40 and blue number one. Some things are just simply worth dying for. I gotta try this. Hey babe. Good to see ya. Hmm. Let me take another sip of that. It definitely it definitely has the Mountain Dew flavor. Um, it tastes different, obviously, from Mountain Dew Original, but most Mountain Dew sodas that you drink, it has that Mountain Dewy flavor and punch to it. You can definitely taste the sugar in it. This one is absolutely loaded with sugar. It has 73 grams of sugar in this 20 ounce bottle. So if you were to measure a 12 ounce can or a 12 ounce bottle, if they had that, you would probably be around 49 to 50 grams of sugar for 12 ounces. So this stuff is absolutely loaded. Babe, my mystery wife to the viewers, would you like to take a, a comfort sip of this and, and let them know what you think of it with your voice without them seeing you? Maybe I'll get more views because you guys still haven't met my beautiful wife yet, will you? Ooh, that's really fun. You guys heard that. She says it's fun. It's like grapey with a berry flavor to it. Yeah. I don't know, like better than an otter pop. Yeah, it says on the bottle, oh, you saw her hand, that it's a 